some four years ago, I was invited by CPCB, Delhi, on a high court, uh, Supreme Court matter. And I had asked for three hours. They gave me three hours, but on reaching there, they said that they have some meeting with PMO and only 40 minutes could be granted. And that was very disturbing for me because I, I was not equipped with how to cover three hours of matter in 30 minutes. So I started with this frame. And I asked them, Can you identify this man with a head? And if we don't, without sound knowledge of ecology, any claim of sound economy is a myth. Now, before I go to the sewage, world over 60 to 80% of national water is devoted to agriculture. Then I was going through winning the future book by uh, by uh, Jawaharlal Nehru's PA, and they had offered only one dam, and Morarji Bai asked for two dams. When they said they have budget only for one, Morarji Bai asked for Ukai Dam and not Narmada. Now, Ukai and South Gujarat is an area where we have 40 to 80 inches of rain. And above that, if we have 40, 50, 60 inches of irrigation, there is something definitely wrong with our agriculture system. Today, even we are following 50 year old nomenclature, sewage and agriculture go hand in hand in their, uh, on their ignorance side. Because we are still talking about soil in terms of NPK, uh, EC, pH, etc. And we keep on tilling, but after tilling, the soil nature changes completely. And at the most, it can absorb only half inch per hour rain. Now, modern path is on no tilling, only mulching. And rainwater retention is up to 13.5 inches per hour of rain. And not a drop will leave the compound. Professor Gabe Brown, with his 2,500 acre of land, he has been studying this for last three decades. And these are the data given by him. Then today we have to talk about soil with reference to its honey, H-A-N-E-Y, PLFA, FAME, and fungi bacteria, bacteria ratio, which should be four to one. Today our soil has one to one ratio. So no matter any amount of irrigation and fertilizers you put, it will not yield results. Now on the right hand side, we have six to eight percent domestic water, of which 30 to 35 percent is black water. Again, again, 50 year old parameters of BO, BOD, COD, activated sludge process, of activated sludge and all that. They are outdated parameters. Modern parameters come from metagenomic tools, which is PCR, fish. Fish is fluorescent in situ hybridization technique. Polymerase chain reaction is PCR. SIP is uh, isotope probe, simple isotope probe and manual autoradiography, and there are many other tests. 
like HPLC, CLPP. CLPP is community level physiological probe. Which bacterial community is there in what population strength for it to be effective? Now, these are the tests. I have been talking to various friends and engineers. They have not even heard of. And now, due to these tests, whatever Darwin and Dobzhansky, they, they have written about evolution, they had never even dreamt of these tools. So, let us go to basics. Ours is a water and energy surplus planet. Any crisis calls for a de novo approach to agriculture and sanitation. And CO2 is often discussed by global warming people. But without CO2, how can we have food? All our agriculture will go. And detritus, and detritus is, is, is the origin from where we came. We came from the scum. We didn't come from the heavens straight away. And that's all free. Microbes, well, you can read this. And sewage management as it is happening today is not just solid liquid separation based on gravitational forces and sedimentation. We don't need an engineer to tell us that sand grain and, and quarry dust will settle down. So, fundamentally, sewage is a climate science. for climate stability and sanitation for public health. We are on a wrong path because we changed the whole basics to the recovery of water and nutrient. That in itself is a proof of illiteracy. We all manufacture weapons of mass destruction, unknowingly, by default. Let us see how. All carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, uh, oxygen, etc., 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 the molecules give us carbs, lipid, proteins, nucleic acids, vitamins, etc. Short chain fatty acids. Earlier term was volatile fatty acids. Now it is discontinued. Even aerobic is discontinued. Either it is aer uh, uh, anaerobic is discontinued. Either it is aerobic or anoxic. So short chain fatty acids are molecules with C6 glucose and less. C5, C4, C3, etc. Now this C molecules, C6 molecules will ultimately converted to CH4, which has a half-life time of 10.5 years. In amino acids, proteins, nucleases, nitrogen containing molecules will give us NH3, which will ultimately give, give us N2O, nitrous oxide, which has a half-life time of 132 years. Both are strong greenhouse gases. Even a leaf or any organic matter, even a newspaper, when decays on the street, ultimately it will be converted to CH4 and N2O and CO2. And we have seen all our solid waste heaps on fire everywhere, be it Delhi, Bangalore, Ahmedabad or Bombay. These are far more powerful than CO2. Now, neutralization of these greenhouse gases, we need methanotroph. Methanogens we, have, we are familiar with. But methanotroph, 
these are the organisms they are archaea basically archaea is a word quite unknown or unfamiliar to engineering people working with sewage now nitrogen sequestration is the role of fungi each player has a specific role now this mineralization if it doesn't happen then the second cycle will not take place so if this uh, sequestration does not take place no molecular symphony will start again now from the soil we have a crop gives us food that gives us nutrition we produce excreta and excreta from 7.5 billion today do not restrict your thinking to acid pathogen from the gut it is our creation coliform shabda that word has come from colon in origin so after eliminating pathogens all in of the inorganic nutrients should go back to the soil for the next cycle to happen what happens is excreta goes to stp stp is discharged into the river river into the sea ultimately excreta or nutrients go to the sea now perpetual perpetual loss of nutrients soil is depleted less crop in subsequent cycles rich farmers buy fertilizers poor commit suicide it's a social evil from the flawed sewage management and town we will have to connect all the dots in this man now the solution that you were asking for dr hari we have to mimic nature because whatever fecal matter that we discharge is partly digested and partly under digested stuff in the players inside the colon they are the microbes they are not clary flocculator and scrubbers and and filters etc and colon is designed to absorb water and treat the slurry what is happening in stp you all know with millions of gallons and now microbial synergy is carbon dominant microbes i mean molecules which are worked upon by microbes they take the first role they are opening batsmen nitrogen is the middle order batsman in sulfur containing compounds and microbes working on that there are tail enders all have different decay rates and therefore asking virat kohli to bat with bumra in the opening position you know what will happen to the team this is exactly happening to stb's world over now blue carbon in wetland is the ultimate solution which will take a separate slide on that this should be understood with meta genomic tools which i have already discussed and for that black water and gray water source separation is important now whatever comes out of the treatment plant is sfs which is solid phase sewer the future of sewerage is above the ground which will follow william hazen formula not manning's formula so all current practices are due for a review water is used as a liquid carriage for pumping convenience where where does the pumping come from is it part of sewage or it is part of our arrangement or convenience then we added aeration atmospheric o2 which is a molecular oxygen but unbound 
CO2 is also a molecule, but it's a bound molecule. Unbound molecule is irrelevant to the aerobic faculty, whatever terms that we are familiar with. Moreover, they spread aerosols and viruses in the atmosphere. Third point is extensive sewerage infrastructure, which is 5,000 year old cloaca maxima design. Bigger the volume, bigger the diameter. Greater the distance, still bigger the diameter. For the bigger the diameter, to push the volume, you need further more water. It's pure arithmetic. There is no engineering behind that. It's an outright liability. We do not know what to do. And nobody knows. Every, every second or fourth week, we see three people, four people, workers, while working in a, in a manhole, two died, two well taken to the hospital, but one succumbed on way to the hospital and declared dead. And this is everywhere. And hardware upgrade, upgradation, even if true, which is not, it compromises the scalability and sustainability. What New York can afford, we cannot afford. So their formula is not applicable to us. And even there is no encouraging result from New York as well. So water nutrient recovery, an outcome of a flawed plan. That's, that's not what sewage management is all about. And still nobody talks about pathogen elimination. E. coli has 600 serotypes. It's difficult. And E. coli is not a pathogen. It's a host, which can be attacked by viruses. We call it bacteriophage. But more about it sometimes later. So this was the presentation, Dr. Rajendra Prasad was there and he admitted in front of 60 professors and engineers that after my presentation, whatever they are working at or talking about will have to be reviewed. Now colon is nature's most sophisticated aerobic digestion. Now, if we want to provide a scientific solution, we should follow nature, which is green, smart. MFSL is mixed first, separate later. If we have a guest, some 100, 200, and we have all the items, very elaborate menu, but all to be cooked in one vessel be it pizza or ice cream or anything, but it should go to either fridge or an oven. You know what will happen. So this is how the septic tank should be designed. What comes out it SFS? I'll show you what SFS is. Now this is what is human column. From mouth to esophagus to stomach and all that. STP to mirror human color. If we deviate from this, no matter what amount you and hard labor you put, it will not give results. Now thermophilic sulfur loving archaea that is in the lower part of the column, and the health of an individual is determined by some sulfur smell in the defecation. If there is, uh, I, I have been talking with various doctors, there is no test done here for a normal discharge. If there is pathogenic and diarrhea and all that, then there are so many tests. So, how nature works? Once nature has perfected a system, it does not try new models. You have Kailas, Parvat, Hill, Ke Upar Se, the river flows which is planet's anaerobic digester. Then it comes to the full flood plains where we have wetland ecosystem. And then ultimately estuary to a sea or ocean. 
Now, this is upper part from mouth to the esophagus, means stomach. There is no digestion. There is no digestion in upper Ganges also. Because the velocity is high, least productive, no digestion, no organic degradation. This is the lower part, colon, estuary and flood plains and all that, they belong to colon. Their microbes are there, they're uh, similar, their organic uh, orchestra is the same. In mangroves, because the low velocity, high degradation, closing the loop. Now, CH4, in both the cases, develops here. N2O, at this point, and denitrifies, ultimately, real, uh, achieved nit nitrogen sequestration. So reverse or column, organic degradation follows the second law of thermodynamics. Now this, I have tried to simplify the whole process. This is the colon from the undigested food, polymers and oligosaccharides enter the colon. And there are four rules. Twisant. Twisant is zero velocity or practically nil. Now we are, we are designing on auto-cleansing velocity. All our sewerage and systems are designed for that. Now we flush volume because we want to see a clean vessel. We are not bothered about what happens to the stuff. That is, colon is anoxic. So is the uh, estuary. Wetlands. I was uh, in uh, Nal Sarovar a month ago and while going through in a boat, I smelled H2S. Colonic fermentation is, it, it's not alcohol producing fermentation. We'll discuss something about that a little later. And water absorption, whatever's additional water, body cannot lose. So body absorbs it back because body does not know everybody is assured of uh, three, four, five liters of water. Now, from the <coughs> small intestine, the food comes, it is five to six pH. And acidic pH means high ORP, oxidation reduction potential. We are going to do some little more technical terms. Carbs and all that. The primary fermentation takes place here and therefore there you have alcohol generation. Mid-chain fatty acids, short-chain fatty acids, various uh, bacteria and degradation, various things happening. Now, while we swallow, all the mucus all along the length of the gut is also part of it is washed out. Now, you have seen so many people, highly obese, in colon, no single microbe can bring down mucus to minerals, except acromantia mucinifi. And in absence of acromantia, you see hugely obese bodies. So obese population means absence of acromantia in their colon. Now, this is secondary fermentation. Secondary fermentation is not alcohol generation. See pH 7. Now, sulfur oxidizing archaea and sulfur oxidizing bacteria. They work on the sulfur compound and lastly it goes out. Now, see what happens. I have tried to mimic this in a diagram. In septic tank, whatever material comes, 
higher carbon molecules they have higher uh, specific gravity they go down then c18 come up c18 are mainly oleic acid then stearic acid palmitic acid which are mainly kitchen based they are lighter than one specific gravity so they they form the scum then they come to glucose when digested by glucose i mean to convert into glucose glucose is more than one specific gravity. it settles down now in this you can see three layers bottom is sludge top is scum and middle is liquid this means all the three have different organic molecules different microbes with different genomic constitution capable of producing different enzymes to work on their respective molecules now this is the fist fist and famine that our engineering books describe is this now when c6 is converted to c4 and c3 it is lighter less than one so famine begins because most of the bacteria, uh, bacteria have already done the job in the first compartment and when c3 c4 are converted to c2 c2 is heavier than one so it settles down and lighter transparent liquid there the do is 0.5 if you see on the upper left the do of the fresh pool shower that we take it is 5 to 6 here it is 0.5 now engineer believe that oxygen is devoured by bacteria cold aerobic that's not true the gas is produced in waste water namely h2s so2 and ammonia they are far more soluble in water than atmospheric oxygen so the do is thrown out so here we have is sfs now what is the first part of the 50% part of the septic tank is compartment first and the srt should be 9 days second is 25 third is 25 second compartment 7 day and then 5 so the total is 21 day solid retention time no no stp ever offers that and therefore if a male child is born and after two means we want to give all the injections so that he can shave and use the most uh, modern shaving set when he is 3 months old is that the kind of engineering we are talking and this is sfs there is no forming all phosphor phosphorus is heavier so it settles down now it is only this clear water should go to a lake which has with with certain vegetation which performs the role of wetlands now all these dark lines that you see they are rhizomes rhizomes are special features they are rhizomes are stems below the ground or beneath the water and adsorption potential of the material media we use has an important role now one m cube of soil has equivalent adsorption potential available from 1 km cube of aqueous medium why don't we take up one m cube of soil then we you see we we are taking 1 km cube of medium then we talk about cost and we talk about water crisis what are we doing between the sand particles inter particular space 
is a microbial fuel cell, which is a reactor. Now this rhizome has sulfur to nitrogen ratio in order of 1 to 36. It will not allow nitrous oxide to be released. Activated sludge process, that sludge and whatever that settles down, is SN ratio 1 to 16. Now, blue carbon is something we have not even addressed in our textbooks. And we are seeking solution. Solution, we need to have a direction first. So, I made the flag of the planet Earth. The flag of the planet Earth, what it would be when the Earth was born about 4.5 billion years ago. So the first half, first half of the uh, world was anoxic. There was no atmospheric oxygen for first 2 billion years. Does it mean there was no organic process? And if yes, does it mean there were no aerobic bacteria? Because the planet did not have oxygen. Then after 2.3 to 2 billion years, we had cyanobacteria, great oxygen event. If you come on, you will see this. And it is only the recent half. We have atmospheric oxygen. In last 500 million years, we have soil. And it is this soil which has made this planet so beautiful. We'll see how it goes further. Now, boring billion is one billion year where people thought nothing happened on the planet. But that's not true. The silica and calcium were playing their silent role. Lee Ricollis in his uh, lecture, a very eminent architect who has played with torsion and spiral structures, he said that how can be a prerogative, how can it be a prerogative of only zoologists to talk about radial larians? And then he designed so many spiral structures. But radial larians, made spiral structures is an organ and not as an aesthetic. Anyway, this is the scale of Earth age divided into 500 million years age. Earlier atmosphere was all CO2, NH3 and CH4. anoxic world, and we had water since beginning. Then we had oxygen, but nothing happened. So it was oxic world from anoxic to oxic. It was last 500 million, we had soil. Soil gave us the forest, the NGO sperms, etc., etc., then dinosaurs and all that. And that held the secret for the beauty of the planet. In the soil, microbes are primed to consume greenhouse gases. We have destroyed soil systematically in name of development. So water was there for 4.5 billion years. Soil came much later, rusty in loop, but green in function. And look, prebiotic principles of anoxic world laid the rules. Before the life evolved, there were certain electric uh, molecular reactions happening, which led to the origin of life.
This is a very crude curve of oxygen. It started with 0.1 ppm to 1% to 0.3 billion, 300 million years ago. It was like this. Then atmospheric oxygen, it went to 33%. And settle down at 21 ultimately. Now, with reference to wastewater, with huge infrastructure, the game we think to be playing today has rules. It has a one ball, one striker, both hands operating be it baseball or hockey or cricket, but nature saw it differently. One striker, one ball to hit, but there are 16 other balls, which is a billiard table, four by eight feet. What do you do with Eden Garden or Chepok or Chinna Swami Stadium? or one kidney, which has 100,000 capacity. The game we are going to play is billion. Now a pathogen out of the host body can survive for millions of years. 270 million years old cystodoma. Cystod is a worm which were preserved at the time of Pangaea, means before the five continents appeared on the planet. These are the ova. So the sewage, besides viruses and health and other issues, worm control, breaking the life cycle of helminthes, that is the main ova. One third of uh, global soil is infested today with worm ova. I don't know what are we going to live for our coming generation. Now, people talk about aeration. What happens to aeration? I'll show you. This red C is glucose, but C, red carbon is labeled carbon with C14 isotope. So glucose is converted to pyruvate with same red carbon three, three carbon molecule. It goes to, becomes acetate. Acetate is ultimately converted to CH4 or CO2. And all of them have labeled carbon. In STP, of course, this is anaerobic or decomposition or breakdown or degradation process. Pyruvate follows a different path. Acetyl coenzyme A, which is entering Krebs cycle or trichiboxylic acid cycle, is a bound oxygen. And all red carbons, labeled carbon, they are converted to nucleic acids, lipids, vitamins, enzymes, proteins, structural protein, etc. Now, organic matter from cell with unlabeled carbon. It leaves. So CO2 and H2O, C6, H12O6 plus O2 gives us CO2, H2O is a flawed equation because the carbons are different, hydrogen is different. And in, in our earlier classes, school, we were taught that when something is synthesized, H2 is released. So H2 released due to synthesis of higher molecules, car, car, higher carbon molecules. So now what is synergy? Cn to C6 is the role of fungi. C6 to C2 is bacteria.
This is our Kia. You cannot have all the games going on, hockey, football, ice hockey, basketball, everything in one city and no, there are different players with different rules, different conditions, different structure. This is degradation. And that is, all these organisms are strict anaerobes. C3 is a building process which leads to all CN compounds. We have already seen that. These are all aerobic path. Aerobic is a building process. Now, atmospheric O2, what is the role? We breathe oxygen, but how oxygen enters blood? Nobody knows. If we know that oxygen is a gas, atmospheric O2 can enter our blood. Then in case of any breathing issue, why not inject oxygen into the venous blood straight away? But that's not allowed. We'll, we'll see sometimes any day. So the first role is transcription, which is DNA to messenger RNA. Second possible path is cytokinin generation. And third is lysosomal activities, apoptosis. The body needs certain material to be destroyed. And if that doesn't happen, then it develops cancer. So apoptosis is a process which controls cancer. Now, this is, Dr. Hari, this is something you might find interesting. What is the solution? Now, the genetic code is written as three nucleotide together. A, 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 B, 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 C, 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 all capital. Suppose we have microbes with all capital genetic code in feces. And we have microbes in soil with all small letters. Nothing in isolation can attain the result. When we mix them both, the triple code structure changes. It is one A, two small, first A, middle A, last A, capital, or B, like that, you can see. Now, it is the feces and soil together can give you the desired result, especially denitrification and methanotroph, which leads to carbon sequestration. Now, this is because of <coughs> LGT, lateral gene transfer. It's a technical term. If any question, we'll see it later. So, we know that the cell membrane is a sandwich structure. When organic matter is digested, more COOH, oxalic acid radicals are produced, which makes the pH acidic. So the H has to be pumped out. pH reduced, the cell is happy. These are various enzymes, don't worry about that. I'm going a little fast. Now this edge, when it emerges out, the terminal electron acceptor may be sulfur, or it may be O. If it is sulfur, it is H2S. If it is O, it is H2O. But this O is not from atmospheric oxygen, because if this O belongs to H2, uh, sorry, O2, then O2 will have one O as a notorious species, which is reactive oxygen. You all know that in ozonation, 
O3 breaks down, breaks down into O2 and O. This O kills all the microbes in swimming pool and water treatment. We use ozone frequently. But the O2 of ozone is discharged into the atmosphere. It has no role whatever, whatsoever in the process. Now, if somebody, a sewage engineer, tells me that if that O2 is blown into the wastewater through aeration and blowers, how can that be effective? Now, cytochrome oxidase, I'll show you where it came. It came a long, long before atmospheric oxygen. Now, this is something worth looking into. Ammonia is converted to ultimately NO3 to NO2 to NO to N2O and then nitrogen sequestration. Now, NO3 to NO2 conversion, there is a special enzyme coming from ribosomes, which is a DNA message from a different bacteria one. Second reaction is again influenced by second set of bacteria. Now this high energy molecule, a source for rocket thrust in space technology, the rocket final thrust is provided by N2. Because nuclear fuel would take a big tank and bigger weight and all that. Now this microbial consortium and synergy. Now microbial one does not know what bacteria two is going to function. It's like a relay. The first runner in the relay race is supposed to react to the gunshot. The first runner has nothing to do with the finish line. And similarly, the finish last runner, runner has nothing to do with the gunshot. In the middle two runners are neither concerned with the gunshot nor with the finish line. But they have to perform their job so well that their team wins. Now, denitrification by strict anaerobes under anoxic condition by various... Now, these are all aerobes working under anoxic condition. NO3 donates 1O, taken away by bacteria. That is aerobic. And therefore, NO3 is reduced to NO2. Then NO, like that. Each one loses one oxygen. In the microbes working on this oxygen, they are called aerobes. But this condition takes place under 0.5 ppm, which is environmentally anoxic condition. Surat STPS has thousands of kilowatts blowers installed earlier, but now they are all operating at 0.5 ppm. Now here, I have something interesting to share. New York governor six years ago declared that any project using sand and silicon will not be considered. So they should be, they should not be submitted. Now each soil, a uh, sand particle, say one mm dia, it has all microbes around that. Say that micron, of course, this is E. coli, which is bigger compared to denitrifiers. Each sand granule houses three to five lakh microbes on a sand grain. And sand grain may have the life of 100, 200 years, we don't know. Take away sand, lose denitrifiers, compromise climate stability. And civil engineering has not gone beyond uh, sand. If you want PCC, you need sand. 
machinery sand, RCC sand, plaster sand. And on top of it, rainwater harvesting wells are also filled with gravels, aggregates. What will happen to the future generation? I don't know. But what I know is they will not thank us for our misdeeds. So earlier it was carboniferous, fossil fuel, fossil fuel, automobile, jet propulsion. And now from there we have gone to calciferous capitalism. We are in a hurry to join dinosaurs. Now I'm a staircase mechanism I'm showing you. Don't worry about the nomenclature. The downward path is energy status of the molecules. You can see Fe2, Fe3, Fe2, Fe3, Fe2, Fe3. These are cytochrome oxidase reductase. P450, which came 4.2 billion years ago before the life was formed. And all that iron we have used for Eiffel Tower and RCC and whatnot. You see, this is a downward path in organic status, energy status. Don't worry about this. Now, this cytochrome oxidase reductase, they are a coupled molecules. They, they do not do any function in isolation. The moment they take one electron, they readily hand it over to something else. So, on the left, C6 is going down the staircase, which is heat releasing, energy releasing, exothermic reaction. And our ASTPs, they raise it to the higher level to CN, black, which is a strong molecule like uh, M5000 or M50,000, not M10, 15, 20. So ASP in RAS, return of activated sludge, this is, it doesn't, explain this uh, biochemical and microbial part. Now, SBR, MBR, MBBR, all these processes use seeds, which are protozoans, basically. Now, those protozoans are not present in our column. They are foreign elements. They do not know what the sewage is. They only know the food and they try to eat it. But when they eat, they grow and they become higher molecule like black CN molecule that I have shown here. So the microbial genetics call them nothing more than laboratory weeds. Now all CO2, O2 releasing engineers, they describe Krebs cycle like this. I have just named them as one, two, three, four, eight. Now one to two to three to four, they are separate organic molecules. And all these conversions are not taking place in one archaea or bacteria. They are not capable of converting or completing the cycle, you can say. Now we talk about acts and policies. Here is a slide I'm going to show you with all advanced countries. This is followed. We follow the act. We take out the path lab report, which reads no objectionable lead content, no pathogens, no fecal coliform detected, only iron content, not harmful, safe to drink. This is the lab report. Public says not accepted. They say water spouts throw water. 
this is Luciana water tap. All, all environment protection agency and lab report are fine. Would you accept this? Here, this was, this is Rio Olympic swimming pool on the left. It developed algal bloom and the venue had to be shifted to a different swimming pool with a clear water. So, Didayatar, Zafar Iqbal Saab ka ek share hai. You would not find a better address than urban sanitation. This is Delhi, capital of India. This is Surat. And Surat says we have tertiary treatment. And uh, you can see the intake well, and you can see this uh, water hyacinth remover. And you can walk across the river because this water hyacinth is one meter thick belt. I was there and when I said, my God, it was. Then potential catastrophe, all cyanobacters, this is Delhi, Madras, world over, this is happening. Now, there is one toxin that produces this cyanobacteria, accumulate one amino acid, which is known, known as BMAA, beta methyl amino alanine. Now, it is it cannot be metabolized metabolized by cyanobacteria for algae or by human being or any lower animals it accumulates and when it reaches a particular threshold value it leads to protein misfolding in our neuromuscular junctions which is um, choline ester which is, which is responsible for uh, transmission of uh, impulse through neuromuscular junctions. And the failure of that leads to Parkinson's and M MND and ALS and all that. Now, Dr. Dunlop, she's an Australian scientist, but to follow particular answer, she shifted to America. She was the only hopeful member who thought could do something and help Dr. Stephen Hawking. Now this is the normal on the left, you have a normal protein, which is correctly folded. And on the seventh position, we have serine. Now serine is taken over by BMA and you can see misfolding of the protein molecule. This is Dr. Stephen Hawking in 1965 with his wife, a victim of modern neuron disease at early onset. Now, what caused ARS MND? Courtesy sanitary literacy, Thames waters? If yes, and evidence grows in that direction. Can there be a compensation for this damage to our civilization? And there are many more cases follow. And Sir Martin Rees, who took his chair after the death of Sir Stephen Hawking, he said a star is simpler because it is, it is predictable. It is calculable. It is measurable than an insect because insect is a biological system. Now, CN to C2, this is the path in biological terms, primary treatment is over sedimentation is over 
when C n is converted to C two, which is not a matter of one and a half to two hours, as all STPs do. It's so difficult to imagine people. And we spend millions of dollars on this sedimentation of sand particle. Where did we bring sand from? Per Nielsen and Robert Sevier, they all say that all this activity slash process is part of infrastructure. It's not colonic in origin. And clear decay does not mean pure water. Again, that river path. Yes. From CN, our gut throws out acetate. In a normal, healthy human being, acetate is a C2 molecule, which is 40%. 20% is propionate C3 molecule. 20% is butyrate, which is C4 molecule. And rest 20% is higher molecules, which are not, which have not undergone digestion. Same thing is happening in river. Now, be it wetland, ocean floor, colon, or even municipal solid waste dump yard, all these processes take place in the same manner with same principles, with same microbes, and same nature of duration. Now, activated sludge process takes a diversion. Now, C2 molecule is changed to CN, which is a far more complex molecule. So activated sludge process, this is how, somehow I have tried to show you schematically that molecules are becoming complex. So highly complex aerobic sludge, activated sludge process result of that is tubulin. Tubulin is a, is, is a contactile tube stock of protozoans, stentor, vorticella. Now, if you analyze tubulin, tubulin is chemically amyloglycan and acetate. So we started with acetate at the bottom here, and we ended up here with tubulin, which has an acetate. So acetate to acetate, what have we achieved? Billions of dollars. I'm not talking about microbes and pathogens. Simple chemistry. Nature gave us, our colon gave us acetate free from food, apple or biryani or vada, dosa, idli, whatever. Our colon gave us acetate from CN to C2 molecule and ASP is giving us again CN, which is a, a, a carbon 5000. And then we, we talk about innovative technology. Then at the top of it, we talk about water crisis. God bless you. See, acetate, billions of dollars wasted and natural resources compromised. Yeah. This Diagram I had shown, but there's a different message here. In the lower reaction here, NO3, nitrate is the oxygen donor, which is converted to nit uh, nitrite. 
second reaction okay, one of oxygen is donated by no2 converted to no nitric acid now nitric acid here is the donor for oxygen and two nitric acids come together one oxygen is donated and n2o is formed This NO2 donates O, nitrogen is sequestered, H2O is formed. This H2O has nothing to do with atmospheric oxygen. If, if members present here can just carry this message. And 70% of wastewater treatment energy is dedicated to aeration, which has no contribution. So are we providing a mechanism to render the society poorer? Now this is Bangalore, lake on fire. Now this is uh, St. Lucie Canal, Florida. This is a satellite picture, an algal bloom. So we are not alone. Let us not feel that whatever comes from elsewhere outside India is all rosy. No. This is China. And there are many other uh, luminescent cyanobacterial bloom, noctiluca, ceratium, and these are dinoflagellates. They are culprits. They are source of cyanotoxins. And many athletes who are crab or oyster or mollusks eating, they have, because they are filter feeders, they eat cyanobacteria. Cyanobacterial cytotoxin is eaten and accumulated in their body. So when we eat oyster or mussel or prawn or lobsters, we also get, because once BMA is formed, it will not be broken down by any digestion. Again, I have tried to repeat some of the slides only with a view that aerobic term should be. Aerobic bacteria is oxygen utilizing bacteria, which has nothing to do with atmospheric condition. Atmospheric environment is irrelevant to atmospheric, uh, irrelevant to aerobic microorganisms. I think I have conveyed this and this should be taken into a semester with sewage engineering courses. And it is, it is such a complicated world, sewage, that mere mathematics cannot explain that. Microbes do not understand mathematics, but if we do not understand microbes, they can fail all our calculations and this pandemic has proved it. Thank you, sir.